But these are 150 letters from George Manners, who writes, as you can see, somewhere in France, as many of them do. He enlisted in 1916, served right the way through the war. This stationery was the Church of England Australian Fund for Soldiers Overseas, so they would have had a comfort tent too. He doesn't talk about his wartime experiences at all, but he, walk, he talks about what interests them. And this letter, like so many of the letters, is signed with much love, Daddy. He was a bricklayer. He was 26 when he enlisted. So he forsook his family and went very self-sacrificially to war. <clears throat> In August 1908 at Harmel, he was awarded the military medal for courageous leadership as a sergeant of his section in one of the great days of victory of the Germans at that time. All of these letters are still in their original envelopes. <coughs> Put that one away. You can see it's been passed by the censor. Officers' letters were not censored, but NCOs and other ranks were. <coughs>